Koji might have been a deadbeat gambling addicted dad, but goddamn, he was jacked. He was so cool, and he did care about his son at the end. That's his dying wish. He died standing up, but told Gojo, not directly, but saying, you know, please take care of my son later on, right? Now, people are also theorizing that Toji intentionally forced himself to be away from Megumi so that he could be protected from all the shady shit he's doing. I don't really know. Now, things should be all good. We defeated the villain. We, Eriko's kind of still dead, but, but, things should be good. But the craziest thing is there's still four more episodes until next arc. And seeing how Gojo transferred into this godlike state, it's kind of terrifying. He's not himself anymore. And we still have to figure out how Geto and Gojo eventually change their ideals and become kind of enemies, right? I think it's going to be a pretty sad episode that's coming forward, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. Geto, what does he think? His eyes are looking kind of scary to me. I don't know, man. Shouldn't you be happy that your friend's becoming very strong and you can all be strong friends together? I don't have a good feeling, man. Premature death is his title? So, did we kill all of them? The cultists. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can actually see his ass. Yo, Geto's actually pretty jacked on the top side. Look at his shoulders. Look at those traps, man. Oh, no, the mist is covering his ass. Come on. <laughs> Geto, what did you do to them? Did you eat them all? No, he's breaking, man. He's mentally breaking, dude. Those eyes are beyond gone. It's the clap again. The claps of the cultists, right? I want to see what he did to them. Show me. He's calling them monkeys, dude. It's over. It's a fucking rap. My man is going the Hitler route. Genocide on the monkeys, right? I can't remember if I seen him in season one. So I feel like if I don't remember him, he might die in this flashback. It's not too hard for you. No, because no one else has to eat the curses like you. Because it sounds like that's really, really taxing on him. Bright eyed, good people like him are first to die, man. Uh oh. I don't know, man. Hello? Total Aoi Senpai, the, the, his, um, the person that like, took him in, right? <laughs> big girl, big ass! Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Cause he, <laughs> do you know what he becomes? Well, he's not that bad yet, right? Dude, look at her wingspan. Her fucking chest. Look how... Dude, she is... You know she's strong. God damn. Big girl, big ass, man. Uh, what's your favorite girl type? Special great sorcerer. Damn. You're her? Yeah, she's her. Never accept any mission. <laughs> she just fucks around now? Honestly? If you reach that kind of position, I kind of want to just retire and chill. Prevent the cursed spirits from even being born. Cursed spirits are born because of bad. Whoa. He's really into that. But they're born because, you know, of negative emotions, right? Then obviously we would get rid of curses, yeah. But it's not that simple of making everybody into a Jujutsu sorcerer, right? This is where he gets his ideology from? Bro, how are you going to jump to that conclusion? And she's even considering it? We can hear the claps again for the cultists. But at what cost, bro? I feel like a bigger problem would happen if you just called them all. He is, though! Dude, get them all do it! Yes, I see them as monkeys. Cap, he was gonna say, I hate these non jujutsu fucking monkeys. Yo, hey, girl, you gotta stop him from going that path right now. But you know that she can't stop him because obviously he continues to do that shit. It's so crazy how, you know, the rain sound and the claps of the call sister are just like pretty much the same thing right now. Guide him to a better place, come on. <laughs> one is genocide and one is not. Don't just tell him. It's up to you to choose. Bye-bye. 
She's super cool. And I don't know if she's still alive in the present timeline, right? Was it ever told? I don't know. I remember Toto like talking about her once in the flashback he had, but that was it. Tengen sama, problem is solved. Oh, that's convenient. I feel like. Okay. I don't have to worry about it? Uh, Alright. Uh, he just likes anyone that can use Jujutsu Sorcerer, don't worry. Nanami? Who's his voice? Nanami. Ubusunagami. Don't know. Okay. Okay. What's going on, man? Is that the guy that I... That's him, right? That's him. I... What did I fucking say? He was way too kind looking. Ugh. Oh. But if curses never existed, then our comrades would never die. That's the kind of mindset that he's approaching. There is some truth to it. I do see what he's saying, but like at the same time, bro, what an insane solution. Oh, it's the two sisters that remember the one was the puppet powers in front of the movie, right? I think Ghetto probably takes them in or something. That's probably them, right? It's gotta be them. One of them like uses a cell phone or something. The other one like uses like a puppet doll. No, Ghetto will side with them. And honestly, right now, I think the humans are, the, the regular people are in the wrong. I think these girls, we should protect them. But like the way he goes about this is kind of, uh-oh. He's going to side with them. Right now, it does seem like the righteous thing to do. Why do I feel like he's about to kill them, bro? Oh, no. I'm just going to assume you kill them, bro. Ghetto is going through it, man. And it totally makes sense. I never thought of it from that perspective. If curses never existed, nobody would have to suffer. That's like the same, that's like the same fucking solution of, you know what? In order to solve homelessness, let's just kill all the homeless people. Like, I, 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 you can't just do that. Ghetto did it. He just murdered everyone in the village. <laughs> it's over. He's too gone now. Can Gojo reach him though? He can't. Shoko though. Now, do we ever see her in season one? I don't think so. I'm, does she die too then in this flashback? He still doesn't have that forehead mark that we see in the movie in season one though. I did it. I killed them all. Shoko's so casual about this too. Oh, you killed the villagers? Oh, all right. Why'd you do it though? <laughs> oh, you're so silly. You don't mean it, right? <laughs> no, I do mean it. I'm gonna fucking kill them all, bro. <laughs> Wonder if she's calling Gojo to call him over right now? It is! Hey, Suguru's here. Why'd you do it, bro? Why'd you kill them all, bro? Jesus, man. Now he's decided. A greater cause. Oh, these two are such best friends, so now they're just drifting apart. Bro, why? Arrogant says you, you've got such a god complex, but like, Gojo is a god too. You can do it, can't you? This is so complex. This is almost like superiority complex that Geto has over Geto because, I uh, was Gojo, because, you know, Gojo is the strongest. He has everything. If Geto was Gojo, he could enact everything he wanted to do. And like, Gojo is becoming so godlike. Even Geto, like, is probably feeling like kind of isolated and left alone, right? And the fact that he has to consistently eat his curses too. I'm sure everything is just fucking his mind up. What are you doing? Nah, bro is gone. A lot of the pedestrians are just like moving like nothing is happening. But you saw in the movie, Gojo had a chance to kill Geto. He didn't. He let him go. You know there's a special bond here. But is this gonna be a backfire like Orochimaru and the third Hokage man? Like, you, I don't know, man. Like, shit's... Maybe we should have killed him? Is there redemption? I don't know. Buddy, you are literal god. That's a different level of power than you're talking about. It's not just about, you know, actual brute force power. Oh? Is he setting up group, his base here, maybe? Yo, Geto has his own 
It's his robe. Yeah, he did take in the kids. A little showmanship. Okay, so he is kind of exaggerating, right? His entire robe and everything. So he takes over the existing cult. Oh, this makes so much sense. Does he have the mark on his forehead? Not yet. What are we changing the name to? No monkeys allowed? He'll just kill them! What if I just get rid of you? <laughs> He's gonna make an example of Sonoda, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude! She should have told him! Ghetto! Killing monkeys is not a good thing! Megumi. Gojo, right? Uh, hey. Bro! Yeah, he looks just like him. I killed your dad, and your dad told me that I have to take care of you now. So, uh, so about that. Yeah. Yeah, fuck the clan. He loved you so much, even though he just basically left for a pack of smokes. I don't... Would Megumi even care about shit like this, though? If I was a kid, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Leave me alone. Oof. Yikes. Oh? He is awfully so mature for his age. Yeah, no first grader should be thinking like this, but knowing the Megumi we know in the present timeline, it makes sense. Yeah, I killed him, bro. You can tell me anything. Come with me. Come with me. I'll make you stronger. Sumiki. All he cares about is Sumiki. <laughs> then I don't care. Bye. That's a lie, right? Aww. Mm. Keep up with me. Oof. Can he though? I mean, you know, when Sukuna was fighting um, Nanami and Sukuna, uh, sorry, not Sukuna, Maito uses domain expansion. Um, Itadori came in, right? And then, remember what Sukuna said? I don't give a fuck about any of you, but Megumi was one person he cared about. It's crazy how Shoko and, you know, Nobody looks just the same. And we're done with the flashback? And we're back to the present timeline. What a flashback. I thought there was like three more episodes or four, including this one, before we go to the, the Shibuya incident, but I don't really know. Um, it's kind of crazy to see how Ghetto like, changed. Like, when we saw the movie and even season one, it's like, how the fuck did a guy like this change? Especially if you see the season two opening where it's just like, Ghetto was like, you must be benevolent to the humans, right? You are so strong. The strong must protect the weak. Bro went from that to fuck all the monkeys. I don't care. Sanada-kun, can you come up to the stage, please? Kills him. Mic drop. Fucking insane. But if you really think about objectively what his goal is to basically <laughs> prevent the suffering, right? No more comrades should die. How do cursed spirits even get formed? Well, it's because these non-fucking non Jujutsu sorcerers exist. So if we just kill them, then everything is solved. Now, that is an answer. That is a solution. But at what cost, right? Fucking insane. One thing that we still don't know is the mark on his forehead. That's still not there yet. I'm still waiting for an answer to that. Now, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.